my name is Daniel Khan. Uh, I'm now one of two team captains on Ryerson Rounds Robotics. I've been on the team since 2016 now. Hi, my name is Trevor Slauson. I'm the co-captain of R3 along with Daniel Khan. Hi everyone, I'm Reem Alsati. I'm Chief Operating Officer of R3. Hi guys, my name is Jason Vu. Upcoming in the fall, I'll be the new mechanical lead. Hi, my name is Leo Kim. I am the Science Controls Lead. Hi, my name is Neil. I'm Co-Software Lead. My name is Asad Raza and I'm a software lead. Hey everyone, I'm Rifat. I'm the Science Mechanical Lead. Hi, my name is Ryan Pacheco and I'm a new co-lead for the Harbor Subteam. Hi, I'm Vanessa Van Decker. I am the Science Team Project Manager. With that, I captain the Science Team and oversee our Science Controls Team, Science Mechanical Team, and our Science Life Detection Team. The different teams on the team consist of the Mechanical Team, Science Team, controls team, business, and media. So my favorite part about the team is definitely the culture and how diverse we are. Um, I always look forward to meetings just because everyone on the team is so amazing and awesome. And basically, if you think of any faculty and name it, we already have it um, from TRSM, arts, engineering, as you can already assume. <laughs> Science is pretty much everything. My favorite part of the robotics team is that they have a lot of interesting projects that you wouldn't necessarily encounter in class. In class, there's a lot of kind of like labs and to the point projects, but this you're kind of more freehand and you can kind of think on your own, come up with your own ideas. Other than that, the team is also just super friendly. Everyone's really welcoming. So my favorite part of this team is that it allows me to tackle complex problems that is interdisciplinary. So especially for the science team, we have to deal with the life detection team, the controls team, and the mechanical team, all into one. And that's not really something I would get exposure with in academic courses, for example. My favorite part about being on the robotics team is the community. I've made some of my best friends on the team. And not only do we get to work together on really exciting projects, but we also look forward to those meetings because we are building something together and it's really satisfying at the end of the day and you form really strong bonds the struggle can seem really hard in the moment, but at the end, that's how you form your strongest relationships. There's a lot of parts that I really do like about the robotics team. Um, in terms of just doing stuff and being able to be hands-on, that's been a huge part. But I think really the biggest thing for me personally has been the people um, and just like the connections. And it's honestly a second family to me at this point. Like. Um, how long I've been on the team, how long I've known some of the people, um, the relationships, the jokes, all of it. Like, it's just made the university experience so much better for me. Um, and I think that's probably the biggest thing for me uh, on R3 is the people. My favorite memory on the team was actually in Kentucky for the VEX World's Championship competition. Uh, what VEX is, it's a competition where teams build robots using standardized parts, mainly from the VEX website. Uh, my favorite memory in that was the very last day of competition where everything was done and we were just hanging out in the hotel room and we played Smash all night until we had to leave in the morning to get on the plane to come home. So one of the memories that stood out to me on the robotics team was actually seeing the rover in person, seeing it move for myself and it was actually a lot bigger than I had expected. So my favorite memory in uh, the robotics team is when I finally had the opportunity to do my own task and after countless hours of failure and things just not doing what they're supposed to when I finally clicked compile and the program ran and it did everything perfectly exactly like it was supposed to wow that was a euphoria that was <laughs> that, that that made me realize like wow I really want to continue working with this team and I really want to do great things. So this is going back a couple of years, but um, it was my first URC competition back in 2019. Like a small group of us saw the leaderboards and everything and we calculated it out and we saw that we got second place on like the last day of competition. And our team captain at the time wasn't there for Rose. And like all of us like made this big joke or plan that um, because there were question marks that we'd say we lucked out on those question marks and that we got heavily penalized or that we lost a lot of points and then he rolled up in his car uh, we tell him he's like freaking out he's running up to the leaderboards he's like going through it all checking and he's like 
okay, this number, this number, this number. He gets to like the last number. He's like, wait, this is really good. And he's like, wait, we got second. And then we all just like dog piled in the middle of the Utah desert. And you literally rolled around in like this really bad parking lot uh, in the middle of the desert for like five minutes, just out of pure joy and like happiness. It was super fun. Like just, I would love to have the opportunity to just like have something like that happen again. So you're probably wondering, why should I join R3? Well, the real reason is, why not? Um, you get to learn a lot of great skills. Um, I've learned so much on the team over here. And honestly, you're part of a community as well. Everyone's so welcoming. And like I myself, I'm not an engineering student. I'm from BTM and I, I don't see like a difference between everyone. Um, we're all equals, we all have our own strengths and weaknesses and we just all come together as a family. Uh, you should join R3 because you can gain valuable, valuable skills uh, such as teamwork skills and technical communication. Uh, those two go hand in hand whenever we do something on the team. Uh, also, I think we're a great group of people <laughs> who, like I said before, like to get work done while having a fun time. Um, and even if robotics specifically is not for you, I really encourage you to join some sort of design team. You'll learn incredible skills there, um, it's super important, and to top it off, it's great for your resume when you're looking for a job. It's a very unique experience, there's lots of new skills to be learned, and honestly, the skills you learn will probably set you apart from all your other peers that have not joined a club, and yeah, it's just a really good learning experience. You get to work in a large team environment, experiencing new things that you haven't before. If you're interested in joining the team and you enjoy working on complex projects, then I think R3 is definitely a good team to consider because it lets you work on this complex rover back here, which is something you wouldn't be able to do otherwise. R3 is an amazing multidisciplinary team at Ryerson. We are very competitive and we've done really well. We're ranked second internationally at the last competition that happened before COVID in the Utah desert at the University Rover Challenge. We also have many different projects, so there's a lot of different ways you can use your skill sets. We have done a robotic goalie, we've done a robo-submarine, and we have our Mars rover, which is our main project. It's also a really great opportunity to meet people, not only from your faculty, but from across campus, and you get to learn how to do exciting projects as a team, build on your technical communication skills and your design skills. If I were to describe the team in one word, it would be ambitious. We always strive to do our best, we set high goals, and we work very hard to achieve them. Family. Um, just like the amount of time spent with everyone, the late nights, the long hours, um, the connections, the inside jokes, all of it, just like the camaraderie and everything, and overall the support that we all provide each other. Um, I, I wouldn't be the person I am without the people I met on the team, and uh, that's super important to me. One word to describe the team is quirky. Um, there's never really a dull moment on the team and there's just so many inside jokes and a lot of things happening at once. And I think it's a very accurate way to describe it. Join us, you're gonna love it. <laughs> I think one word that describes the team really well would be rewarding. A lot of the projects that we have are very challenging, but it's really rewarding to get to work on them together and get to celebrate all those accomplishments with the rest of the team. It's diversity. Um, we're diverse in the way that we have people from all different programs, all different backgrounds, cultures, personalities, and everyone on this team is just very unique. Flexible, because there's a lot of times where the team makes mistakes or has some iteration that we need to change, but everyone works together to make sure it's done properly. So one thing that I've learned on the team um, is communication. I've learned to be more vocal about things, how to deal with resolu uh, conflict resolutions a lot better, and how to be really professional in my communication, especially as like the main contact for sponsorships. It's just been a really important part of it, and I just feel so much more proficient, especially like if I'm going into different co-op placements, it's definitely prepared me for that. Um, I've learned everything from mechanical design to just basic SOLIDWORKS tools to team management, uh, time management, leadership conflict resolution, a whole bunch. Uh, yeah, literally every facet of my life I've learned something new because of the team and the amount of time I've spent here. And even if you're only going to learn one thing from the team, you're going to learn that so well and um, learn and develop so much from it, like it's always going to be worth it.
it's really hard to pick one thing I learned from R3 so far. Um, I think I've really improved on many things like my teamwork skills, working with different types of people, like technical skills like you know working with SOLIDWORKS and just mechanical design overall and then just struggling this on top of school or work or just like in general. Something that I've learned during my time on the team is how to be a better leader by improving my communication skills. A skill that I've learned while being at R3 is CAD. I've never built any PCBs before, but while being on the team, I've learned how to draw schematics and build the boards from start to finish. Join R3. R3 join Cardinal to Carlo. Entrare R3. Indomula R3. R3 me shamelho. Dere lambek we R3. R3 te takahabe. Unete al equipo R3.